Marriage of Figaro, promotion, 1 minute 30 seconds, VTR 6320, stroke P3, and network. 52 and 50 seconds. At the third stroke, it will be 11, 53. This is Figaro, once a barber in Seville, now the valet of Count Almaviva. Today is Figaro's wedding day, and what a day it turns out to be. Here's Figaro's bride, Susanna, a nice, high-spirited girl. She's personal maid and confidant to the Countess, and alas, all is not well between that lovely lady and her husband, the Count, for he has fallen out of love with her and is looking for action on the side, preferably with Susanna. The women plot their revenge. Susanna flirts with the Count, hoping to trap him into making an ass of himself, but their plans keep going astray, for the Countess has been consoling herself with Carabino, a page boy who goes after the women in the chateau like a cupid in hot pants. And so the Count accuses his wife of infidelity, but by quick thinking, Susanna saves the day and saves her wedding, only to find Figaro deceiving her on their wedding night, or so she thinks, for the plot twists and turns like a French farce through four brilliant acts and any number of mistaken identities. Mozart's comic opera, The Marriage of Figaro, is one of the world's great classics. It's upstairs, downstairs, set to music, if you like, and in Peter Hall's superb Glyndebourne production, that crazy day of Figaro's wedding comes to your screens as a vivid, irresistible touching experience. You can read about Figaro in this week's TV Times. You can see it on Tuesday.